Attending an HBCU was really never something I had to make a decision about. My great grandmother attended Tennessee A&I before it was Tennessee State University. It was a really just a direct connection to my family and my roots and my history. My major was aeronautical and industrial technology with a concentration in aviation management. My coursework really prepared me for just a general understanding of aviation operations. And I was really encouraged by my professors to tap into what does the aviation workforce look like from here on out. And so I did my capstone project on increasing minority women in piloting. And so then my senior year of college, I got a phone call saying that I was gonna be in the 2021 MSI internship cohort at the FAA. I think my internship ended August 13th and I, be, I came on as a full-time Fed August 16th. I'm in the STEM Aviation and Space Education program and so the importance of that really has been to encourage um, minority youth, especially in underserved and underprivileged communities, to get into these aviation and aerospace careers. And so it's like the, the, the stuff that my professors encouraged me to really look into while I was at school has really helped and prepared me to do you know my everyday duties and what you know what I'm here for when I got to Tennessee State I wouldn't have known that this was the perfect place to begin my career it's really important that I do that for others having the opportunity to come to the FAA and be able to work on the HBCU program initiative has really meant a lot to me it gives me the opportunity to really hone in on my passions at work every day, which is to encourage youth to go into all of the aviation and aerospace careers that we have available here at the FAA.